Hi everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be showing you my settings for Dolphin Emulator for low-end PCs. So, let's get started. So, what these things on some games, not all games, but some games, like Mario Kart Wii, you can get up to 59 to 60 FPS on average. So, keep in mind, like I said, just begin with, it only works for some games. Like on Kirby and to Return to Dreamland, that didn't really work well for me, but might work for you depending on how fast your computer is when you're setting up these settings. So let's go to config. Now there's only one thing we need to set up in the config section. You want to be on general and basic settings. You want to enable dual core speed up. Then we're gonna go on to graphics. Then on the back end, I have it set to direct 3D 11. Then on adapter, I have it set to Intel R UHD Graphics 630. Then I have aspect ratio set to auto, VSync turned off. And then shader compilation, specialized default. Then render to main window, I have that on. I like to also have show FPS on so then I can see what my FPS is when playing games. That works very well so. I can know if there's any other things I might need to change or something when playing, so then I could get faster gameplay and everything. Now onto enchantments, or enhancements, sorry. On internal resolution, I have to set to native, but it's all up to personal preference. But on low end PCs, it's best to keep that native. But I, because I'm pretty sure giving it a higher number will makes things slow down and stuff, so, yeah. But like I said, this all depends on your computer. Now, NTA listening is set to none. Then, oh my god, I'm gonna butcher this name so badly, sorry about that. And I, so Tropic filtering, set to one. Then post-processing effect, set to off. Scaled EFB copy, set to on. Disable fog, set to on. Disable copy filter, set to on. Then pair pixel lighting set to off, force texture filtering set to off, widescreen hack set to off, force 24 bit color set to off. I mean set to on, sorry, set to on, yeah. Then arbitrary mi mip map detection set to on. Then the stereo copy set to off. Then on hacks, I have embedded frame buffer EFB. Skip or uh, skip EFB access from CPU on. Store EFB copies to texture only. Set to on. Ignore format changes. Set to on. Then I have texture cache set to safe. Then GPU texture decoding set to off. Eternal frame, external frame buffer. Sorry. On store XFB copies to texture only. Set to on. Immediately present XVB er, XFB. Set to off. Skip for setting duplicate frames, set to on. Then on other, a uh, fast diff calculation off. Vertex rounding, set to off. Disable bouncing box, set to on. Save texture cache to state, set to on. Then on advanced, I just have everything in debugging, utility, texture dumping, uh, frame dumping off. And then on, uh, and then on miscellaneous, I have crop off. Enable progressive scan, set to on. Backend multi-threading, set to on. Borderless full screen, set to off. Then I have everything turned off and experimental. So, with that, all that, you should be able to get some faster gameplay, depending on the game and computers and everything. Like I said, my computer is, I actually can't remember I said this already, but my computer isn't the best, so it won't be able to do good on some games, but as I stated earlier, in games like Mario Kart, we it works almost perfectly and feels like I'm playing it on a real Wii sometimes. So I'm not going to be able to show gameplay, unfortunately, because even with these things, my computer is still too bad to even record with or, or record while playing. So sorry about that, but just see for yourself. And what I recommend is if you try these, I recommend taking screenshots of these your before settings. So if they don't work for you, you can. Set or set them back to the way they were before, and yeah, thanks for watching and adios.